dear students in today's lecture we will study about hydrological cycle or we say water cycle so today we will go through this water cycle this water cycle it actually means the movement of water through various spheres uh, of the earth but this movement it takes place through a cyclic fashion so we call it water cycle or hydrological cycle this hydrological cycle it can be defined as the continuous exchange of water from the earth's surface to the atmosphere or vice versa uh, by the influence of solar heat and this water cycle it is a closed system where the water gets transformed either from one place to other or from one form to other under the, uh, under the influence of heat and whatever the process may be the total water in the system it remains constant the total water in the system it is constant and so far as the components of this hydrological cycle are concerned there are various components we have component we have precipitation we have runoff we have evaporation we have condensation we have transpiration we have evapotranspiration we have infiltration we have uh, depression storage and we have interception these are the various components of hydrological cycle so let's go to them one by one precipitation this precipitation it is fall of moisture from the atmosphere to the earth's surface in any form uh, it may be rain hail snow sleet glaze drizzle snowflakes uh, this we call precipitation and then we have runoff this runoff means water flowing over the land making its way towards rivers lakes oceans it also form a part of uh, hydrological cycle then we have evaporation uh, evaporation this means conversion of uh, natural liquids like water into gaseous form like air uh, it happens in water bodies wherever water is present it happens there due to insulation from sun and then we have condensation this condensation means it means conversion of vapor or gas in, uh, into a liquid uh, water that evaporates from water bodies and go uh, into the upper atmosphere after reaching a certain height of around 20 km in the sky it undergoes condensation and forms clouds and then these clouds they precipitate as rain fog snow hail uh, whatsoever and then we have transpiration uh, this transpiration it is evaporation taking place from plants or greenery and then we have evapotranspiration this is combination of evaporation and transpiration this is also component of this uh, hydrological cycle then we have infiltration this uh, process of filtration of water to the inner layers of soil based on its structure and nature Uh, pervious soils go through more infiltration than impervious soils uh, this infiltration it is more in <coughs> sandy soils than in fine uh, soils that are made up of fine particles and then we have depression storage you know our land it is having depressions uh, this part of precipitation required to fill depression zones on the land this we call depression storage so depressions they uh, are filled by uh, rain or we have snow and this is part of uh, this is this uh, part of hydrological cycle and from this depression zones evaporation of water takes place and then condensation then followed by rain uh, precipitation again then we have interception and this interception herein we have part of precipitation required to wet the surface of soil buildings and all uh, pervious surfaces this we call interruption these are the parts these are the components of hydrological cycle in next lecture we will study about hydrological cycle the process of hydrological cycle how actually water cycles between various spheres of the uh, earth till then have a good day